Okay, so this video is more about a heads up really than a kind of how to do stuff, but it will give you an insight into what's coming in terms of blocks to WooCommerce. Um, I only say that because the cart and checkout, which is what this video is about, is going to be um, just showing you the experimental stuff that's that's in the pipeline uh, because it's not quite ready yet. But if we have a look at our cart and uh, checkout page, I'll explain what I mean. Now, I'm just going to add a few things to the cart here. I just want to come back to my accessories, maybe add another item. Now, if we go to our cart, we get this nice little flyout, which we've seen before, which is cool. Uh, so we've got two templates. We've got our cart and we've got our checkout. So the cart is where the user can go in and review their uh, the items that they put into their basket. And then the checkout is where they check out. So if I just come back out of that. Now, I know that this is the traditional way that WooCommerce adds functionality to a page, which is uh, uses what's known as short codes, which I'll explain in a minute. And again, the same goes for the template. That's uh, this is the old traditional. I just know by the look of look and feel of it. So if we come back to our cart and we want to edit this template, as we did before, if we go to edit site on the page, it should take us back to the template. Now there is a bit of an odd thing here, once that's loaded, um, you can use the three buttons or the action to revert, but unlike we've done with the other templates, when you make changes, you can clear the customization. It doesn't do that if you go through the front end, um, it asks you to rename or, or delete. So what you have to do is just come back out of that template <clears throat> and then go back into it. So go back to cart. Now our actions allow us to clear the customization. I don't know why it does that, it's a bit weird, but this is bleeding edge at the moment. Um, so if we clear customization, what that's gonna do is gonna take out our short code and it's gonna put in uh, our blocks. But be aware that these blocks are still in development. And if we just look at our list view, we can take a look and open all these up to see what's going on. One nice thing about this is we've got what a placeholder for what the cart would look like if the user had filled their cart with items. We've also got what it would look like if the cart was empty. So um, we've got your cart is empty um, and it's also got like these, you know, related products or, you know, actually you could buy these products. This is quite a nice little feature um, because you, you still allow the user to browse your products regardless if their cart is empty. So if we take a look into these, we open up some of these blocks. I'm going to show you what you're, the first thing you'll notice is we've got this this padlock. I assume that means that um, they're under development and we can't break them out too much. But if it gives you a look and feel of what's coming, so we can see on all of these we've got um, in our settings and block we've got this feedback that says we're currently working on improvements, improving our cart and checkout blocks to provide merchants with the method with the tools and customization options they need so that indicates to me that they're still in de de development but you can still check them out um, so if we just save this out and uh, then we can view it at the front end if I go to view site check out my cart so this is the template that we just converted so we can see the design's a lot different. It's a lot cleaner. It's a little bit nicer. Um, but yeah, they are experimental. So just be aware. We'll we'll go through the process of reverting that back to a short code in a minute. But we'll go ahead and convert the checkout page first. So again, if we come to the page edit site, that will take us directly to the template. Once that's loaded, again we've got this weird uh, reverse way of clearing the customization. At the moment you can't do it through the action or the three dots. So if you just come back out of that and then go back in, it kind of clears some weird caching thing. And now we can clear that customization. And again, what that'll do is just take that short code, convert it all to blocks. Now with the, unlike the cart, the checkout does this weird thing by taking out your template header and footer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take that out it's probably a, a reason for that, I don't know, but like I said, it's in uh, it's a bleeding edge at the moment, so it's still in development. So there might be things sort of like hanging around that haven't been 
fully cleaned up. So that's my header's gone in, which has gone in at the bottom, I expect. Yep. So I put in my footer as well. And again, that will put it at the bottom. That's fine because we can go to our list view and we can just drag our elements and that will just fix the header and the footer. Cool. So again, if we look at our open up our checkout blocks, I'm just going to get rid of that to get some real estate. So we see what's coming again. We've got the uh, lock symbol, which would indicate the that it's still in development. And I guess if you open up the settings and the block, you get this message, the feedback message here. So, but we can play around and see what we can do. Um, I'm guessing that all of these blocks will have a lot more settings coming, but Traditionally, we would have to do this in code with hooks and filters, but in the actual block settings we've got, so I'm looking at the shipping address block at the moment, um, we can take out or add the company name if you want that. I think by default it goes in, but in the traditional way, in sense with classic themes, and we'd have to do it with code, but we can start taking that out and making it more relevant to your your shop or the shop owner so that's kind of what's coming again if we save that out we can check it out at the front end and have a look at that through our carts and check out and we see we've got a new a new layout which is quite nice so what do we do about uh, so we've checked it out had a look at it but we need to revert it back again i wouldn't do this in production if you've got the, the facility to create a staging site do you you want to check it out or you indeed want to test it and give feedback to woocommerce you can do that um but yeah i probably wouldn't do it in production so once you checked it out i would re revert back so if we just go back to our shop i'm trying to get to our cart here so i'm going to go back to the cart i'm going to do them systematically i'll change the cart first and then i'm going to do the the checkout so again, on the cart page, go to edit site and that should take me to my template. And I want to edit this template. So I'm just going to go directly into my list view and I want to just get rid of the cart. So I'm going to remove that block and I'm going to put in a header block. I'll just call that cart. And then in here, I want to put my short code back in. So you can see we've got short code there. A short code is the way that it works with traditional classic themes and we put the short code in by and it's a reference to WooCommerce's functionality. So if we put square brackets in there and to bring this functionality in on this template, we just put WooCommerce underscore cart and that will bring that functionality back the oops, I need to put cart, not carts. So save that and that'll bring that functionality back. And you can check that by going to your view site front end check out my cart and that's brought back the original traditional way but we've still got our checkout which is using the new blocks so again i want to convert that back to a, um, a short code <coughs> excuse me so edit this template we want to look at the list view remove the checkout blocks I'm going to put in a heading called checkout and then I'm going to put my short code in and the short code for the checkout is WooCommerce underscore checkout. Most of the functionality of the old classic templates is uh, all the short codes they all start with WooCommerce and then logically whatever the page is that you're looking at. So if we save that out and take a look at our site again, just go to our cart and we'll go through this logically. So look at the cart, yeah, that's the traditional template. View checkout and that's the traditional template. So we've reverted back. So yeah, that gives you kind of a heads up of what's coming. Um, again, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't advise doing it in production because we don't know what's going to break. Um, I'd wait till it comes into call, but you can still investigate it in this way if you've got functionality to add a staging site. Um, so, or indeed, if you're running it locally on your on your machine. Um, but that's kind of a developer way of doing things. So um, this video is all about non-zero uh, code. So 
Um, yeah, so if you've liked this video, uh, do give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, do leave them in the comments section. And uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.